welcome back to our channel. So today we're doing something really fun. We are going to show you guys three quick and easy Halloween costumes that you can pull together with <laughs> so funny, with stuff you just kind of have around the house. And I'm going to show you some makeup tutorials that are going to take it to the next level using makeup you probably already have in your vanity. So our first look is Scarecrow. You excited? All right, so we are going to show you these three looks. Let's roll the lips. Good job. Did you say roll the lips or roll the looks? <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll the looks. So these looks aren't specifically for little ones. Um, you can do them on yourself. You can do them on any age. Willow is just a lot cuter to look at than I am. So I am sharing these tutorials on her today. So we're just going to go ahead and get started with our first look. So first we are going to start with the eyes and I'm using this highlighter palette from Sephora and I'm going to use these kind of orangey tones on her eyelids. <laughs> okay so using the lighter shade, <laughs> I'm going to cover the entire lid. <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> it tickles. So pretty. You're going to look beautiful. Close your eyes. So I'm just taking that lighter color and I'm sweeping it all over her lid. So pretty, my love. And then I'm gonna take that deeper bronzy shade and I'm just gonna sweep it across her eyelid right here. All right, now we're gonna do a little mascara. So if you are an adult or a teenager wanting to do this look, I would definitely suggest you do like a winged eyeliner. But because Willow is five, we're gonna stick with the shimmer eyeshadow. All right, so moving on. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my color correcting palette by Makeup Forever, and I'm gonna use this orange color right here to do her cheeks and her nose. All right, so now we're just gonna do cute little circles on her cheeks. This is relaxing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty little scarecrow. Let's do the other one. I don't really look like a scarecrow. I look like a pretty girl. You are a pretty girl. In my coat of Okay, now we're going to do a cute little triangle on her nose. Make sure you really load the brush up with that orange color. If you don't have orange, you could totally use like a berry pink. Um, a lipstick would work really well. You gonna fall asleep on me, girlfriend? <laughs> She's so relaxed. She loves it when I play with her hair, do her makeup. Ooh. All right, that's perfect. Now we are gonna go in and use some yeah. black and add the rest of the detail and then we'll do lips and we're done. See guys, how easy is this? <laughs> All right, so let's go in and do lips. Does it taste good? <laughs> Make them pouty. There we go. Perfect. Rub your lippers together. <laughs> Such a pretty color. All right. <laughs> so any liquid eyeliner will work perfectly for this next part or just a black eyeliner pencil would also work just fine. Okay, so now we're going to take our black eyeliner and we're just going to outline that little triangle we made on the nose. Okay, now we are going to make barbed wire fence out of our little black line. So we're just going to go like this and do little X's. They don't have to be perfect, just little sweeps. I can't even see it. <laughs> nice. 
Now we can see it. Like this. <laughs> How cute. Now we're gonna do her little smile. <laughs> All right, look at mama. And you are gonna connect this little smile to the center of those cute little orange circles we made. So directly from the corner of the mouth up towards the center of the circles. There we go. And now we're gonna add our little barbed wire fence detail. Oh. And now instead of the X's, we're just gonna do little lines. So cute! Now I look like the cat double. Now you look like a scarecrow. All right, so here's our completed look. We are gonna do some final touches, and this costume is done. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Wasn't that last look adorable and so easy? So this next one is one of my favorites. I think it looks so cute on everybody and it's just gonna look adorable on Miss Willow. So this look is gonna require a little bit more makeup. Um, um. So, it's so soft. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike and I look like a bug. Okay, so to really make this uh, look pop, you're gonna do a lot of contouring and highlighting. So I'm using my Naked Skin um, in shade. Ew, my Naked Skin? <laughs> yes, in shade Ew. Light Warm, and we are going to highlight these areas. Look up at Mama. We're gonna go under the eyes um. and carry it down to the cheekbone. Same thing on the other side. Side. Not that she needs any coverage, this is simply to highlight these areas so that our contour really stands out. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ah. She's really confused right now seeing herself in the camera. <laughs> You look beautiful, honey. Just gorgeous. Ew. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna blend this out. Look up, darling. Fan it out on the forehead. Look up, baby. Oh, I should clarify. Look up with your eyes. <laughs> look up with your eyes. You don't want to blend it too much because we want there to be a strong definition between the shading <laughs> that we'll be doing and our highlight. Oh, he's so pretty. Okay. So to set those areas, I have my Sephora highlight palette again, and I'm gonna use this really, oops, I'm gonna use this really light white shade. Okay, moving on to the eyes. I'm gonna use this really pretty, um, kind of frosty <laughs> eyeshadow, and this is gonna go all over brow bone and lid. Close your eyes.
Am I gonna be a reindeer? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna be a reindeer. I don't look like a reindeer. I just... You will, just you wait. gonna take this really pigmented bare minerals shade I don't know what it's called but any kind of bronzy shade would do okay and this is just gonna go right on the lid and I'll dab it on and then blend it with my brush All right, so using circular motions, I'm just gonna blend this out. Okay, so far, so good. Oh yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a frosty white shadow and I'm just gonna go into the corner of the eye to add a really strong highlight right there. A uh, neat trick is to wet your brush and then dab it in and it'll be a lot more pigmented and a lot stronger. Okay, eyes are done. <laughs> so using my NARS palette, I'm gonna take this chocolatey brown and my little pointed brush. Chocolate. chocolate. You're gonna get a lot of chocolate this Halloween. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to sweep this underneath the eye and kind of extend it around. Okay, go ahead and look up. Alrighty. And then we're sweeping it and extending it up towards the temple, but we're gonna connect it and do the crease. So keep that in mind when angling this line here. almost like a cat eye and bring it into the crease. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to take a blending brush and we are just gonna kind of blend this out and into the crease. Okay, so I just took a little bit of that chocolate and brought everything together in the crease and then really blended it out so it's nice and soft. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the contour. It's super soft. Yep. Okay, so I am taking my Clinique Chubby Stick in shade Chubby. Chubby. Ample Amber. <laughs> Ample Amber. <laughs> and we are really going to heavily contour. Do you know what contour is, Willow? Contour. What's contour? Contour. You're fortunate enough to not have to worry about it. Cause you're so pretty. Okay. All right, so we are just gonna dab on the cheekbones. <laughs> and the forehead. Take my brush and I'm just gonna fan everything out. I love this brush, it's by Scylla, and it is my favorite for contouring.
So don't worry about blending the edges too much. We really want to make sure this stands out. Can I cut it? But do make sure that it's even. Okay, so using my small rounded tip brush, we are going to go ahead and do the nose. I'm just going to take some color from my contour stick. Make sure you load it up really well. And this is going to extend down from the eyebrow. And just kind of follow the natural curve of the nose. Sorry if I'm blocking, I can't get the right angle. <laughs> but same thing we did on the previous side. I'm gonna repeat over here. I'm just gonna be blocking you, sorry. All right, and to bring the eyebrows in with this look, I'm just gonna fan that contour color through the brow, but nothing too crazy. You really wanna have a nice, strong brow for this look. All right, this is looking so good, Will. You look so cute already. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that black liquid eyeliner that I used in our previous look and we're gonna do a cute little nose. We are just gonna go directly across. All right, be sure to let that dry. Do not touch it, Willow. <laughs> Where the wings can be when they're the tears that you little in the air. And I can. Okay, so now for the best part of all those cute little spots. Uh, this is the White NYX uh, pencil um, in milk, and we are just going to go through and Ew. add the final details. <laughs> So we're going to concentrate a little cluster right here and then we're just going to kind of fade it out at the hairline. Okay, so mascara and lips. Ooh, girl, you just can't help yourself, can you? Mascara, lips, and we're done. And we're done. So if you are a teenager or a grown-up, I would definitely say Throw on some eyelashes, girl. When in doubt, lash it out. I love eyelashes. They take every look to the next level. And if you wanna do this look and throw them on, I think it would make it only look better. So I am using a matte, kind of mauve pink on the lips. Really pretty, really subtle. I definitely recommend a matte lip color rather than a shimmer. It's just gonna look perfect with this look. And 
complete the costume with a darling fur vest and of course, some cute little antlers. Okay, so our third and final look is pop art. So to really make these details pop, you're gonna really wanna start with a smooth, even foundation. You are so funny. Um, not that she has any complexion issues. Uh, it's just really gonna help those dots pop a lot more. So I'm just using a tinted moisturizer that I never use. Uh, it's good for makeup looks like this. It's cold. It's cold. All right, we got everything nice and even. We're gonna move on to the next phase, which is going to be our eyes. Now we're not gonna do too much on the eyes um, because a lot of the detail is in like the lines and the dots. Okay, so now we are gonna move on to the eyes and we are gonna use this Frosty White from my NARS palette. Uh, and we're gonna sweep this across the entire lid. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take this kind of neon blue shade. Um, it's called Surf in USA and it's Sephora brand. And I wet my really fine rounded brush. And I'm gonna pick up as much color as I can. Now I'm just gonna sweep a very tight line across the lid. See how much deeper the color is when you wet your brush? So pretty. Now you are welcome to add more, but Willow's five, so we're gonna keep it kind of basic. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna start on the fun details. I'm gonna re-wet my brush. And with that same blue shade, we're gonna create like a little puddly teardrop underneath one of her eyes. <laughs> and then one more right down here. Okay, now I'm going to take my liquid eyeliner and we're just gonna outline it so that it really pops. Okay, girlfriend, you gotta be so still for me. This is gonna be challenging, guys. I got it. <laughs> Super cool, I love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that white NYX crayon that I worked with before, and we are gonna start dotting her face. And I'm gonna try really hard to make it as symmetrical as possible, but it's okay if it's not. All right, so now I'm just gonna frame her face and then we'll fill in following that same line. All right, I think that's good. Down. I'm switching to my Sephora eyeliner pen because I have a little bit more control. You definitely want to have all the control you can get when trying to draw these straight lines. Okay, so we're going to sweep around the nose. Oh, much better. Awesome. Oh, just right now, I have a, um, Okay, from the temple, we are going to line the jaw.
boom that looks awesome I'm gonna fill it in a little bit more cool so I'm gonna go over her eyebrows just a little bit so that they look a little more cohesive with their look and then we're gonna do lips and we're done Willow do you like it so far yeah, it's really cool. it is really cool okay so we're just gonna lightly go over the eyebrows okay so nothing too crazy I am just going with the natural growth of her eyebrow and making them a little darker If you wanted to go really bold and really structured with the eyebrows, that would probably look really good. If I was doing this on myself, I would totally do that. Like a really sharp black eye eyebrow. That'd be perfect. But we're just gonna fill in Willows. Okay. We're just about done, let's do lippies. Okay, so I'm taking this really fun deep red and we are gonna line the lips. Okay, so now we're so now we're gonna add a little bit of glare to one side of her bottom lip. I just took that same brush, or you can use a lip, um, or you could use a lipstick brush. Whatever you have is fine. And I'm just using that same white we did the dots with, and really loaded up this brush as best as I can. And I'm just gonna make a little oval on her lip. Okay, so to set that glare, I would take some translucent powder over a tissue and blot that on there to make sure it stays. Well, that completes this three-part tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm not gonna link any of the makeup I used because the point of these looks were for last minute. Uh, Amy Zolik, she's joined us, you'll hear her in the background. Uh, because the point of all of these looks were um, for you to be able to use things that you already had on hand. But if you are curious about anything that I used, just drop me a comment and I will get back to you right away and let you know all that information. If you have any other questions, also drop me a comment and we'll get back to you. Was that fun, Willa? Yeah! So fun. We hope you guys have a very happy Halloween. It's a little less than a week away. We're super excited. I think I'm gonna be the deer. I'm gonna do that look on myself. I thought it was super cute. Uh, Willow's gonna be a baby and Liv is gonna be a really gory vampire. So, pretty fun. Uh, comment below what your costumes are going to be. We are so curious and would love to know. Comment below. Hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, turn that bell on, and have a...